Sharp Zone RAF SE5A out of the box preview and build video. So the first part of this particular video, we're going to talk, do the out of the box preview, show you the parts of the model, talk about them, and then the next section of the video, we're going to actually do the build. This particular model I picked up at HobbyZone.com, so don't forget to stop and check them out if you get a chance. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, start off with the first part of the video, the out of the box. All right, everyone, we've opened the box. This is how the model comes packed. So let's go ahead and get all these parts unpacked, laid out on the table, and go over some of these features. All right, everyone, we have the model out of the box. The first item that we're going to talk about and go over with you and show you some of the features, talk about them, is the fuselage. On the fuselage, up front, they're running, the, uh, they're running a 10A prop. Powering the prop is a 480 size motor, 960 kV. Now, some of the detailing that they've done on this particular model looks great. Let's talk about it. They got the real nice scale exhaust pipes running aft. They've installed the machine guns that, are, uh, that they used back in that era on this particular model. The pilot figure is installed, and it has a real nice scarf to give it some real scale for that era. It's also modeled in the olive drab. Again, in the uh, World War I markings for that theater that, it, that the RAF used it in. All right, so now let's go ahead and rotate the fuselage over, show you some of the components that are installed that come with the model. All right, we have the model, and we're looking at the uh, underside of the fuselage. Underneath the battery box, we have our uh, E-Flight Pro 30-amp ESC, again. And as you can see, there's the motor up front. Back aft, we have the two park zone servos installed. One's going to be for elevator, one's going to be for rudder, and the rods are already pre-installed for you. I'd like to point out that this particular model is a plug-and-play, so you will need a receiver. The receiver that I'm going to be using, or I've selected, is the AR500, and they offer a bind-and-fly version as well. Again, I have the plug-and-play version. And that concludes pretty much the fuselage out of the box. Pretty much ready to go. You just got to put your receiver in and bolt the wings on. All right, so now on to our other components that came out of the box. Let's go ahead and start off with our uh, lower wing. Here's our lower wing. And they have the ailerons uh, installed for you out of the box, obviously. You have your aileron servos installed, your horns, and everything's connected, and it's ready to go. And it also has a real nice scale markings on it. So that's the lower section of the wing. The upper section of the wing is the same thing. Has the uh, ailerons already uh, ready to go for you. It has the real nice scale markings. And it has all your stuff installed for your struts and everything you're going to need to connect this wing to your lower section, your lower wing. On to the uh, tail feathers. Uh, the Horizontal stabilizer is pretty straightforward. Has the elevator installed. You're going to bolt that onto your fuselage. Again, simple there. And then you have your rudder and vertical stabilizer. Um, you can change this out to a tail skid. The aircraft back in that era operated with a tail skid or a tail wheel. Your choice. All right, now we have a lot of uh, hardware that comes with this particular model. A lot of the wing struts, the gear struts, all packaged neat. All everything you're going to need. It's all in these packages. So we're going to go ahead and uh, inventory it. Break it out, open it up, make sure everything's here per the instruction manual. And we're going to go ahead and start the next section of this particular uh, video. Let's go ahead and get on to the build video and get this model assembled for you. All right, everyone, and welcome to section two, part two of the video, the build section. Uh, starting off, first thing we did is we installed our AR500 receiver. We bound it to the radio. We have all our uh, servos and ESC connected. It's ready to go. The next section that we're going to do per the instruction manual is we're going to install our lower wing into the fuselage and plug in our ailerons. So let's go ahead and get that done and uh, move right along. The next section of the model assembly is the landing gear. Um, so what you want to do is assemble your uh, landing gear stretch, your side braces, your axle, and your wheels. It's pretty straightforward. Locate your left and right side strut assemblies. Um, and you just have a small bracket here that bolts on uh, four locations, left and right hand sides. It's pretty straightforward per the manual. So we've got this all completed. We've got our wheels installed. Make sure you put your spacers in down here. There's two on each side. So now that this section of the assembly is complete, we're going to install this into the fuselage with the parts we have here, as you can see. So let's go ahead and get the uh, 
landing gear assembly installed onto the fuselage. All right, we have the landing gear installed. Um, it takes eight fasteners. There's a little piece that's uh, installed right here on both sides here and here. The metal rod just sets in the uh, alignment here and here. Also in the front up here, there's an alignment. You just set the uh, landing gear in, set the struts in, and you're done. Four fasteners. So the landing gear installation is complete. Now we're on to the tail. Here's our uh, stabilizer. We've got this little section here you install. Now let's go ahead and get the tail installed onto the uh, airplane. So we're going to install the uh, vertical and uh, horizontal stabilizers next. All right, everyone. Section three of the assembly, the tail feather installation. We have our horizontal stabilizer installed onto the fuselage. There's two fasteners. They're 10 millimeters. They go down inside, and that the security of the fuselage that holds your uh, horizontal on. And then the vertical stabilizer just sets in place. Use a little bit of packing tape per the instruction manual. Just secure it to the sides. So again, the tail's pretty easy, straightforward. Follow the manual, you can't go wrong. Now we're on up to the uh, wing area. We're going to install the upper wing. We'll show you that. And then after that, the next assembly is hooking up all the flight controls and powering up the model. And that'll probably will cl complete the build. So let's go ahead and uh, get that upper wing installed. All right, everyone, let's talk about the upper wing installation and what was required to get that done. Um, you're going to locate these uh, outer wing struts here and here. You're going to snap them into the bottom of the wing. You're going to locate the inner struts, four of them, secure those onto the fuselage. Be careful because they're marked A, B, C, and D. Just follow the manual, slide them in place. The wing then just sets on top of these struts, and, and then you want to uh, install a pin in the front of the wing. There is a guide pin that's, that attaches the struts to the upper wing, which is right here. There's four of them, and there's holes already pre-drilled. You just slide those pins in and you're done and the wing is complete. And last but not least, the upper machine gun just snaps right in. So the next phase of this uh, model is CGing it, but prior, after the wing installation, you do want to hook up all your flight controls, which we did here. All right, we have our rods, control rods for our ailerons hooked up for our upper ailerons, and we do have our uh, elevators and rudder hooked up. So that's it. You just want to neutral, power up, neutral everything, and center everything, and make sure the flight controls go the correct way. And uh, check the manual for that. Um, all in all, i got to say that the model went together real well. There were really no issues with assembly. It's a really nice model. Great quality. Parkso did a, did a fantastic job with this model. Uh, that concludes the out-of-the-box preview and the build video of the SE5A. I appreciate everyone watching, and don't forget, guys, if you get a chance, stop by HobbyZone.com site. Check out all the great models they have. Thanks for viewing, everyone. We will see you out on the field with the maiden flight of this model. Have a great day, and thanks for watching Tinkerman RC videos.